So continuing on through the nine phyla, we're going to talk about nematodes, arthropods, and echinoderms. So if we go here, we're at the um, echinoderms and the arthropods here. Nematodes are unsegmented worms. Here you can see the roundworms. They have a pseudocelum. They're very diverse and some nematodes cause human disease. For example, elephantiasis is caused by a roundworm. This worm is Wuchereria bancrofti, but also Berugia malayi can cause elephantiasis. These are two different microfilarial worms where if you get bit by certain insects, the um, larvae or eggs of these worms can get injected into the tissues. The lymphatic system sucks up that um, egg from the tissues. The egg will hatch open and grow into a full adult size uh, worm or turn into the larvae, which then matures into the adult size worm. And then that blocks your lymphatic vessels. If it's completely blocked, you won't be able to um, drain the fluid from tissues anymore, so fluid ends up pooling. This is more common to happen in the legs, but you can see elephantiasis anywhere in the body. The anatomy of a nematode or a roundworm, it's got a mouth and an anus, a brain, an intestine that goes all the way down to the anus. There's a pseudocelum, an ovary, a reproductive pore, and also an excretory pore for a pre primitive urinary system. The phylum Arthropoda includes trilobites, chelicerates, myriapods, crustaceans, and insects. Characteristics of arthropods are that they have jointed appendages, an exoskeleton, and segmentation. Here's the basic anatomy. So on the outside, they have antennas, the eyes, the mouth parts. They have legs that allow them to walk, a jumping leg, wings in some cases. And they have three major parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Arthropods have complex organ systems. So here you can see a venom gland of a spider. They have a mouth. That mouth leads into a digestive tract. They have digestive glands in here, ovaries. They have a silk gland. If it's a spider, it's going to have to spin silk. Uh, the anus, a trachea, and um, book lung. The heart, it's quite large. The stomach in here, and um, so forth. So this is an example of trilobites, chelicerates, myriapods, crustaceans, and insects. Trilobites are extinct marine arthropods. Marthropod, or, sorry, mouth parts are important in classifying the other groups of arthropods, chelicerates or mandibulates. So chelicerates have chelicerae, mandibulates have mandibles. Chelicerates include the horseshoe crabs, ticks, spiders, and scorpions. Millipedes and centipedes are myriapods, a group of mandibulates. Crabs, shrimp, and lobsters are examples of crustaceans. A group of mandibulates. Insects are also mandibulates. Insects account for most arthropod diversity. The phylum Echinodermata includes sand dollars, sea stars, and sea urchins. Characteristics of echinoderms include radial symmetry when they're adults, spiny skin, and a water vascular system. They include sand dollars, sea cucumbers, sea urchins, 
and see stars. If we look at the anatomy, they have a mouth and an anus. In between the mouth and anus, there's a stomach. There's gonads. There's a primitive type ner nervous system. They have digestive glands. And then they have these tube feet.